Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas here in Roxboro, North Carolina. And in today's video, I'm doing a video that's a little bit different. I'm not going to be talking about videography or photography in today's video. It'll be one for my miscellaneous playlist. And that is that I recently got a different car to use for my photography business. Now, uh, before I get into that, I wanted to remind you to check out the Liam Photography Podcast. You can find it anywhere that podcasts are found, and I have a massive back catalog of 363 episodes that you can listen to at your leisure. All right, so in today's video, I recently traded in my 2017 Nissan Rogue for a 2021 Toyota Corolla. Now, I've had a lot of Corollas over the years. They're a fantastic car, and this is my latest one right here. It's a beautiful white Toyota Corolla. And I'm going to be doing some mods on this car over the next week or two. And I'll update you with additional videos in reference to this project. So as you can see here on the front of the car, we have these little uh, rubber plastic accents in the corners here. There's one on the driver's side and the passenger side. Now they are where the factory LED fog lights normally would go but this model doesn't have them, but I'm gonna be adding those on. I have those already ordered, they're on their way. I found them for $55 on Amazon. And so I'll be replacing both those accents with the actual fog lights. Now, another thing that I'm gonna do, this car does not have remote start. So I'm getting a remote start from a company called StartX on Amazon. It's a plug and play unit that you can install yourself because all you do is unplug a handful of factory wiring harnesses inside the passenger compartment of the car in the dash area and you plug in the T-harness that comes with the remote start system and then plug those factory harnesses into the outside ports on the T-harness and everything is hunky-dory. So I'll be adding a remote start system to this car because I had one in my Nissan Rogue and I really got used to having it, so I definitely gotta have one again. Now, the other thing I'm going to be doing with this car is on the back side of the car here, you can see the tail light, turn signal, backup light combo there. And I'm actually going to be replacing those with LED lights as well. Now, right now, this piece right here is just solid black plastic. But when I install the new LED light kit, this will actually be a red LED light bar all the way across here. Now, the cool thing about this is it'll not only give me brighter, cooler tail lights to match my LED headlights and fog lights, but it has a really cool startup sequence that it runs through when you first start the car up where it kind of the light chases around uh, like a pulse of energy. Kind of looks a little bit like the old uh, the, the sensor bar on the front of the Knight Rider car from the 80s TV series. And then the other thing I'm going to be doing is these here are just reflectors on the back of the car and these accent spots on both sides. And I'm going to be swapping those out with LED lights as well. So when I'm done, all of the lights on the car will be LED and uh, it'll be a lot nicer, it'll be a lot brighter at nighttime and stuff like that, which will be totally cool. So those are just some of the things I'm gonna be doing with this car over the next couple of weeks before Tina and I take our next trip up north to visit our kids and grandkids and our moms back home in New York and Pennsylvania. Now this car does have some really cool tech that my last Corolla did not have. So let's get inside the car and we'll show you a little bit of that tech real quick and then wrap up this video. Now, I don't know how well you can see inside the car because I did put a filtered lens for the bright sunlight on my DJI Osmo Action 3 for this video. Um, but over here in this corner, we have some cool things here. We have the lane change warning system that'll let you know if you wander out of your lane. And this indicator, which isn't active yet, but I can activate it here is the adaptive cruise control and the car actually has radar in the nose of the car and it'll actually detect when other vehicles are in front of you and it will slow down your cruise control accordingly so let's say i was going down an interstate at 70 miles an hour and i came up on a vehicle that was going slower while i'm following that vehicle the computer would slow the cruise control down to say maybe 60 um, to keep me a safe distance away from the car. And it does have a distance scale um, from hitting a button on the steering wheel. That is the maximum range. You can see three blue bars there. And then a shorter range and the shortest range 
and then back to full range, which is really, really cool. I really like that. And of course, you have your green cruise control uh, indicator in the upper right corner there. Now, another thing that this car has is what's known as a hold brake. Now, the, the parking brake in this car is completely electronic. It doesn't have a hand lever. It doesn't have a foot lever, nothing like that to engage the parking brake. The parking brake engages and disengages automatically as needed. Now, the cool thing is, is um, with this car, every time you put it in park, the parking brake comes on and you can see the park indicator down here. So it's an automatic parking brake. Now, the nice thing about this is you not only don't have the cable on the hand or foot control, that's generally what breaks and wears out on most cars, but also being that your emergency brake is getting used all the time, it'll help keep the parts lubricated and prevent them from seizing up, which is another common thing that happens with parking brakes on most cars. Now with this car, I can press this button uh, behind my shifter, which is a parking brake hold. Now I'm going to show you exactly what this does. So I'm going to put the car in gear and I'm going to drive just a little bit just so I can demonstrate this for you. And then when I come to a stop, say I'm pulling up to a stop sign or a red light or I'm at a drive through restaurant or something like that. When I stop, the second hold indicator comes on. When both hold indicators show up, you can safely take your foot off the brake and the car will stay exactly where it is. It won't creep, it won't drift forward and bump into the car in front of you or anything like that, which I think is totally cool. One of the things that I really love about this car is the automatic hold. Um, on the parking brake. Now it does have a time limit. It'll hold the car for three minutes and then it will release, but it will warn you ahead of time with a beep, 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 letting you know that the time is about to expire. All right, now those are some of the coolest features in this new car of mine that I absolutely love and some information on some of the mods I'm gonna be doing to this car over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch it. Please remember to turn on all notifications and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.